and welcome back to Adaptation. It's been an entire month of missing you guys, but we're back, we're refreshed, and it is our anniversary episode. Almost exactly one year ago today, we posted our first video on this channel, and you know what that means. I'm Kendall Bryant, and I'm here to tell you six more books that we would like to see immortalized in film. This list is chock full of potential, as many of these have already had the movie rights sold and maybe had some rumors flying around about them, but it's just been way too long since we've heard anything concrete, so we're here to tell Hollywood to get off of its butts and start making some progress, because we need to see these adaptations. Playing right into our love of rebooted fairy tales, Jess's pick is Cinder by Marissa Mayer, the first book in the Lunar Chronicles series. As you may have guessed, it's loosely based on the story of Cinderella, but this time she is a cyborg mechanic who can fix just about anything, and like any good science fiction fantasy, the fate of the world rests on her shoulders. Just the fact that I got to say science fiction fantasy pretty much has me 100% on board for this. We've done modern day Cinderella to death, I think it's time for futuristic Cinder. Jen would like to see the Ranger's Apprentice series by John Flanagan become a series on screen, but for the purposes of this, let's just start with book one, The Ruins of Gorlan, where 15-year-old orphan Will is picked to be a Ranger's Apprentice. The Rangers are kind of a mysterious, shadowy people, rumored to use magic to camouflage themselves, but they do protect the kingdom, so they can't be all bad. And as Will is going through his training, he learns that dark forces are gathering, led by the exiled Morgareth. Morgareth. Morgareth? Something like that? Honestly, this seems like more of a TV show to me. I mean, there are 12 books, and that's, that's way too many for a film series. But, if done right, I think it would make a good TV show. Just saying. My pick, on the other hand, is a seven book series, so... We know that can be done. Magic is the first book in the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage, and it comes complete with a map, which you know is the indicator of a fabulous book. I mean, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, I can't think of any others, but you know that's true. This book combines magic with a sort of medieval-ish society and a kind of switched at birth situation. Even though it's called Septimus Heap, what I really love about the book is that it doesn't focus solely on him, but more on the Heaps as a family, which is kind of a new dynamic for books in this genre, because it's usually like kids out on their own. This adventure is a team effort. And since we're on this series kick, Ryan has suggested the Artemis Fowl series by Owen Colfer. The first book, just called Artemis Fowl, meets up with the 12-year-old genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Eh, uh, maybe try that again. The 12-year-old genius millionaire crime lord, as he sets out to steal the holy book of the fairies in order to learn how to capture one. His success leads the leprechaun unit to send in a rescue mission after the captured fairy, and this description is really making me wonder who we're supposed to be rooting for. That's not exactly a bad thing, though. Doran has turned our attention to Sabriel, the first in a trilogy by Garth Nix, once again involving magic, because that's just our style. In this book, there are two kingdoms, one with magic, where the undead roam, and one without magic. The main character, Sabriel, lives in the one without magic, but her father is a special kind of necromancer that goes into the old kingdom to lay the undead to rest. I think that might just be a nice way of saying he kills them, but I haven't read it. But when he goes missing, it falls to Sabriel to travel into the old kingdom to find him. And those of you that have read this book will probably notice how hard I tried not to put any hard to pronounce words into that description. I tell you what, I have had it up to here with crazy fantasy names. And finally, Sarah would like to see a film version of The Two Princesses of Bamare by Gail Carson Levine, who also wrote Ella Enchanted, so there's some past precedents for adapting her work. In this novel, she tells the story of two wildly different sisters, Meryl, who dreams of adventure and glory, and Addie, who's pretty content to just be a cricket on the hearth. But when a plague enters their kingdom and Meryl is infected, Addie has to take a page from her sister's book and set out to find a cure. Gotta love a good story about sisterly love. Actually, I'm really liking how many of our picks are about family. 
and magic in kingdoms. Now you know why all of our hosts are friends. <laughs> Similar interests. But let's be honest, we are due for some more movies about magic instead of dystopias. Not that we don't love them, but we had 10 years of Harry Potter and at this point we're kind of addicted to magic and looking for our next fix. So Hollywood, I think that's your cue. And as for you lovely viewers, make sure you tell us in the comments what books you would like to see on screen, be it big or small. Please give us a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos, and if you want to hear more of our opinions, check out our podcast on iTunes. Until next time, happy anniversary to us!